Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp team as we take on a very highly populated southern yellow jacket nest. This is Vespula squamosa. They are extremely aggressive when they're being defensive and as you can see here, when we stimulated an attack response to get them out of the nest so we could collect them, they came pouring out to fight instantaneously. As you can see here, this nest was located underneath a large tree and it was in the mow path of the property owner who was trying to mow his lawn. He called us for help to remove it and when we arrived, we went through our safety protocols and one of the most important parts of that is taping up the suit ankles where it meets the shoe. This prevents wasps from crawling up the pant leg and stinging the operator in the legs. The team is also trained to check each other's seams and veils on the suits and zippers just to make sure there's nowhere a wasp can get into that suit to harm the operator. We begin collecting all of the adult wasps that are going out to forage or coming out to attack. These are all female worker wasps that can sting because they have venom sacs. And the venom sacs are why we collect these wasps. We use them for biomedical purposes in venom immunotherapy. Venom immunotherapy is a process in which doctors will give allergy shots to people who have severe or lethal venom allergies. The shots desensitize the patient from severe venom reaction and this basically cures their venom allergy. As you can see here, once the operator sets up the gear, the team always steps back away from the nest area because otherwise you'll get this, where the aggressive attackers will come out and cling onto your suit and all of that. The visor that you see on Katie's headgear there is what keeps that veil away from her face so that they can't sting her through the veil. Once we have most of the adult wasps collected, we flash freeze them in dry ice and we'll show you what that process looks like. Typically we'll take the full container of wasps and put it right into an ice cooler that's filled with pellets made of frozen CO2 or dry ice and we bury it in that dry ice to freeze it from all sides. That flash freezes the wasps in such a way that their venom is preserved at the highest quality possible for biomedical use. Then we move to phase two, which you see here, where we dig the brood comb out of the ground and we put it into a transport container. We take it back to the vespiary where we can raise all of the pupae in the nest until they can be hatched out and collected for venom immunotherapy. Then we look for the queen. That's what you see us doing here. She's usually in the comb structures or she's down in the pit and we put her into a special queen cage and we keep her with her nest so that when we put her back in the vespiary incubation box she can continue to maintain her nest as naturally as possible. To view the complete episode click on the link in the description.